Welcome back to another wonderful week of instructional promise here at Charles River Flowers High School, a mecca of excellence, where our Jaguars hustle harder by exhibiting hard work, utilize resources, our success-oriented, tenacious leaders, exceeding expectation. So I uh, just want to come forward and open the week up strong. This is almost a midway through the third quarter, and it's very important that we begin to have conversations around what the rest of our year is going to look like. Uh, before you know, we got about four weeks before spring break. Before, uh, before you get, when you get to spring break, you'll be at the end of the third quarter. Uh, by the time you come back, you'll be in the middle of the fourth quarter. And I'm telling you right now, before you know it, uh, you'll be thinking about summer school if you haven't been doing what you're supposed to uh, have been doing up to this point. So um, it's Black History Month. And I always like to have a quick conversation during Black History Month as it relates to education because one of the key tenets to, uh, to, to, to Black History Month and the study of history period is that if you do not learn from the mistakes that were made in the past, you are doomed to repeat them. So uh, yesterday I took my, I took my kids uh, to, we to go see Race, the new movie by, uh, on, on the biography of Jesse Owens and the things that he accomplished in the, um, in the 1936 U.S. Olympics actually winning four gold medals and, and, uh, and you know, going to Nazi Germany and doing it when Nazi Germany was trying to prove that uh, people that were not of a certain race were inferior. So he went and smashed that myth through his actions, right? So he went there, 110,000 people in the stadium. When he came through the door, they were appalled. They couldn't believe it. But by the time he left, he had established that he was, he had through his works, you know, earned the right to receive a standing ovation. And so the lesson for you guys is that the sacrifices that have been made on your behalf should lead you to the point now where you're focusing on doing the work so that you can leave with a standing ovation, right? 60 years ago, there, you couldn't have even gone into a classroom um, and, 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 and been able to enjoy a lot of the, res the resources and materials and levels of instruction that you're receiving now. But what's, what's occurring now is that you get to come to outstanding schools like Charles Upper Flowers High School with resources that are state of the art, um, like for instance, like our television camera, our television uh, monitors in a hallway, and we receive ongoing feedback about what's going on in the building. So for those of you that are using it to, to connect to scholarships, uh, extracurricular activities, uh, programs, community service, all of the things that it was designed to do, kudos to you, great job. But then you turn around and you see one clown who has decided he wants to use our monitors to, um, to display something that's completely inappropriate. You know, to me, the person that does that says something about how he feels um, this world is, doesn't owe him anything. And I mean, you know, or, or owes him something and he doesn't owe the world anything. So, you know, what are, what are we doing? What's important to us when we say, you know, all of these resources, all of this time, all these things that we're doing, and the, most, and the only thing that we can find uh, that's important for us to do is to post something inappropriate. You know, what does that say about our commitment as students? What does that say as, as our commitment uh, to the learning process, to our community, to those who made sacrifices for us? What does that say about the other students that just stand around and let it happen? You know, going back to Jesse Owens, you know, he was in Nazi Germany back in the 30s. And back, you know, it's, it's kind of it's similar because you had a, 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 a crazy person who came into control um, in Germany? It's um, it, it, it was it was Adolf Hitler, and he started off with really small thoughts around what it was that he wanted to do. You know, the first thing he did sounds very similar now is he started talking about how groups of people were inferior, how groups of people were not. Uh, should not be receive the same level of re resources and supports as the rest of us. And then he changed that narrative, something like one of our presidential candidates now in the conversations that he's having, and he's actually um, leading in the Republican race for president right now. So you guys keep that in mind as well. 
But then he started, he shifted that conversation from inferiority to um, did these people even deserve to exist? And the entire time that he was saying this, you had large groups of people that were saying, you know, oh, he's just, you know, he's just a little crazy or, or it's just him talking. And they didn't do anything about it. You know, and then when he started talking about whether these people deserve to exist, by that point, you know, they still continued never doing anything about it. So what you had was an entire Holocaust that, occur, uh, that occurred because people refused to recognize that if they didn't take responsibility what was, for what was happening in their country or their world, then uh, you could have a couple of crackpots really destroy the fabric of what was occurring in society. So the lesson in all of that is that it is your civic responsibility to step up when you see something that is done wrong and stop it. Because if you don't, for instance, I could be the, I could be the principal that says, you know what, take all the television screens down. Matter of fact, ban all of the electronics from the classroom because one crackpot is being allowed to manipulate what goes on in our building. Now, I, I think that would be going you know, a little bit too far right now, but if crackpots or people who do not have the same focus as you do are allowed to continue to control, control the culture, then you have to start considering those things. So not only is it your responsibility, I know I'm about to get off, I, not only is it your responsibility to maintain your own decorum, but it is also your responsibility to protect the decorum of your own community. So I guess that's the message in all of this, is that this is our stuff. All of these things are ours, and we have to protect them if we want to continue. So uh, looking forward to the winter sports pep rally this afternoon. Everybody in uniform will get an opportunity fourth period to come. You didn't wear your uniform today. You're going to stay your butt in class. You should have came to school in uniform. Uh, tomorrow, please come this evening. Tonight is the senior night for girls and boys basketball. Who are we playing? Anybody know who we're playing tonight? Parkdale. Parkdale. We got Parkdale tonight. Want to make sure that you're coming out and uh, being a part of that as well. Uh, I'm getting pulled off the camera at this time, but please come to the pep rally. Please come to the game tonight. Let's celebrate winter sports. Indoor tracks going for uh, state championships in boys and girls. I don't care. I'm going to keep talking. Uh, uh, swimming has had an outstanding season as well. Wrestling had a great season as well. The overall grade point average for our winter athletes is 3.3. Guys, that's huge. Excellent work, winter athletes. I'm Mr. Brown, your principal. I'm out of here. Have a great week. <laughs>